Hi, I'm Dr. Lindy. Welcome to our writing workshop series. In writing workshop one, we'll go over the components of a basic essay, introduction, body, and conclusion, and use Essay Jack to help you do that. Okay, to get started, let's assume that I've been given an assignment by my teacher, or my professor, my instructor, my TA, my tutor, and this assignment is to write a 500 word essay on the topic of traffic congestion. So I'm gonna go into Essay Jack and get started. My keywords, traffic congestion, and maybe I'm gonna say something about bike lanes. Bike lanes. Reducing traffic congestion is my provisional title. My instructor is gonna be Professor Lindy. This, as I said, is gonna be a 500 word essay and let's say it's due sometime from now. So now I'm creating my essay jack draft for this 500 word essay. Now an essay is gonna persuade somebody of a perspective that I'm going to bring to bear. Now what you see here on the left is the overview of my essay. So all persuasive or argumentative essays have an introduction, they have a body, and they have a conclusion. The introduction sets the stage and sets out the argument, the body, and it, for a 500 word essay is probably broken down into three body points, the body is where that evidence is brought to bear to prove and to support whatever it is that I'm going to argue. And then you have the conclusion to sum it all up. So let's go back to the beginning and get started. Once again, I've been given an assignment to write a 500 word essay on the topic of traffic congestion and bike lanes. So if I open up this middle section, this is how Essay Jack operates. The middle section has text boxes that help to focus the writing process as opposed to staring at a blank page. My first prompt, jump right in, what's your focus? Well, that's telling me that I need to look at the question that I've been asked to write about. So once again, in this case, it's traffic congestion and bike lanes. If I need more information, I can open up this tip panel on the right-hand side, and it gives me some other suggestions about getting started. The third piece that Essay Jack offers in each of these text boxes for every single component part of the essay is a drop-down menu of su suggested sentence starters or sentence stems. Now you don't have to use these ones, they're just to get your creative juices flowing, but if you want, you can just plug one in. Important data suggests that bike lanes can help reduce traffic congestion. Okay. Now my next text box, next section of the introductory paragraph for my 500 word essay is a little bit of background. And what is background? Background is information that sets the stage that comes next. Essentially, I just want to tell my reader why this topic matters. Once again, I might look to these sentence starters to get me going. Okay. This question is important because cities are finding themselves busier and busier with more and more traffic. Okay, so traffic congestion is a problem. That's why this question matters. Now I move on to the most important part of any persuasive or argumentative essay. It's the thesis statement. So what is a thesis statement? A thesis statement is the major claim that I want to convince somebody by the time they get to the end of my persuasive or argumentative essay. It's the stand I want to take. So for an example, let's imagine that I am a courtroom lawyer and I'm making my opening arguments. In my op opening arguments, I want to say whether my client is guilty or not guilty. Then I want to be able to say, what is the evidence that I will bring to bear to prove my client's guilt or innocence. So the thesis statement is when I'm gonna tell that jury and I'm gonna tell that judge whether my client's guilty or not. That's what I'm gonna argue. Now to bring it out of the courtroom and back to the essay, I want to convince somebody of something. In this case, once again, I'm gonna to go to that drop down menu to see what suggestions it's going to bring for me to get started on framing my thesis statement. This paper proposes that cities should have separated bike lanes to reduce traffic congestion. Now, if I'm going to propose that, that needs to be debatable. So somebody else might disagree and say, oh my gosh, 
bike lanes, that's not gonna reduce traffic congestion. You're gonna have bikes and cars, and it's gonna be crazy. So I now am going to have to bring in some evidence to suggest why I think the introduction of bike lanes is actually gonna reduce traffic congestion. That's the roadmap section. So once again, if you remember, if I'm a lawyer and I'm gonna say, my client is not guilty for this, this, and this reason, those reasons in essay format become my roadmap. They're gonna tell my reader what kind of evidence I'm gonna to bring to bear. Once again, I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. What is the first point I will develop to establish my thesis? The argument begins with a case study from New York City where bike lanes reduced the time it took to get from point A to point B. Okay, that's my first point. I've got some, I've done my brainstorming in advance. I have some information from New York where they introduced bike lanes, so I'm gonna talk about that later on in my essay, but I'm signaling it right here in my introduction. Now, my second point. The argument then moves on to suggest that when bike lanes are introduced, all traffic moves more smoothly. Okay. So this, I'm saying it's not only this case study from New York, but actually when you've got bike lanes, both bikes and cars move more smoothly. And now my third point. Maybe I'm not entirely sure just yet what my third point is gonna be, but I have a rough idea. Maybe I won't write it as a full sentence, but I'm just going to say something about safety. Okay, so I know that bike lanes are important because something about safety. So I'm gonna put that in there as a reminder when I get down to that section of my essay that I can expand that point. Now, let's see what we've got so far. I'm gonna close the overview and I'm gonna close the tip panel. And now let's have a sneak peek. As you can see, I've got my introduction already being created and it looks just like an essay. I've got my roadmap as the final part of my introductory paragraph. And Essay Jack has pulled out those three points, those three points that I will use to support my claim that we want more bike lanes. And it's pulled them out and set them out as placeholders for those body points. And now I can build my conclusion and what I've got right now in a few short minutes, is nearly 200 words, and I've got an outline for my essay, which is comprised of an introductory paragraph, placeholders for my three points, and a provisional conclusion. At this point, I can download my outline for myself, I can email it to myself, and I can share it with somebody who might be within the essay jack world, who has permissions to sh see and share material with me. Or I can just keep on going and jump right in to look at my first point, which is this case study from New York City where bike lanes reduced the time it took to get from point A to point B. So now, just like one of those cooking shows where you've chopped up all the vegetables and stuck it in the oven and now miraculously the uh, food is already cooked, we've jumped ahead to a, one of these finished essays, but I wanna show you how we got there. Okay, so now we're in the body section and we're looking at body point one. I've filled out the rest of the essay so that you can see what a completed essay looks like, but now I wanna show you how we got there. As a reminder, we pulled this point, a case study from New York City where bike lanes reduced the time it took to get from point A to point B. That's from our roadmap. Now we want to turn it into the topic sentence for this body point. To get started, let, let us examine a case study from New York City where bike lanes reduced the time it took to get from point A to point B. Now we move on to the next section, which is a bit of background. I've already filled this out. The background is that there's a study of two main roads that were five lanes of traffic, and in both cases, separate bike lanes were added, improving the overall movement of traffic. That just makes sense for my reader. What is this case study? What is it that I'm gonna be talking about? And now we get to the most important part of any essay, and this is the evidence and explanation. So for evidence, what we wanna do is provide just like in a courtroom, we wanna provide evidence to support the claim that we're making. 
So what is evidence? Evidence is information helpful in forming a conclusion or judgment. So in this case, I found a quotation from an article that tells me about a situation in New York City on Columbus Avenue where they introduced bike lanes and it actually shortened the time it took to travel that distance. So that's my evidence. But it's not enough for me to just plop that evidence in there. What I need to do next is explain for my reader why that evidence matters. In any argumentative context, in any persuasive essay, I need to have point, proof, and explanation. So right now, I need to explain how that evidence, how my proof, does what I say it does. So I've gone in and I've chosen a drop-down menu, sentence starter. This example shows how bike lanes actually make traffic move faster. So now I've got all of the sections, point two onwards, filled in, and I can go and look at my finished draft. I've got all of the paragraphs, including my work cited, because I've added a citation to document that quotation that I put in there as evidence about traffic congestion. At this point, I can now email this draft to myself, I can download it, I can share it with somebody, and I can move on into word processing and format this properly. I can change my font, I can double space it, and most importantly, I can grammar and spell check it before I'm all done. Thanks very much.